This is section 2, Managing Devices. In this first video, we will look at installing and updating drivers. What will we learn in this video? In this video, we will look at Device Manager, Inspecting the Properties of a Device, and Driver Management. There are three ways to open up the Device Manager. The first way is to press the Start button and search for Device Manager by typing Device Manager. That will open up Device Manager. The other way is to right click on the Start button or press Windows key X and select Device Manager from the list. And the third way is from Settings. From Settings, in the Find a setting, search for Device Manager. Device Manager opens up with this initial view of devices by type. You can expand the tree to see what's inside of each of these. Options in the File menu include Options and Exit. The Actions menu has Scan for Hardware Changes, Add Legacy Hardware, Devices and Printers, and Help. The View menu allows you to change your view. It defaults to Devices by Type. You can view devices by connection, view devices by container, view resources by type. This includes I.O., I.R.Q., and memory, and you can look at resources by connection, which is also I.O., I.R.Q., and memory. You can also show hidden devices, or you can customize your view. The Help menu contains Help Topics, Tech Center website, About Microsoft Management Console, and About Device Manager. The icons along the top include Back, Forward, Show or Hide the Console Tree, Help, Show or Hide the Action Pane, and Scan for Hardware Changes. Device Manager is simply the Microsoft Management Console. So if you show the Console Tree, Hide the Action Pane, this looks a lot like a Microsoft Management Console. You can also scan for hardware changes which will scan the plug-and-play compliant hardware, and none are on this computer right now. You can right-click on an item, and this list, Update Driver, Disable Device, Uninstall Device, Scan for Hardware Changes, and Properties, is the same list that comes up under Actions. Update Driver, Disable Device, Uninstall Device, Scan for Hardware Changes, and Properties. Installing a new item is as simple as plugging it in and then scanning for hardware changes, if scanning for hardware changes doesn't start automatically. You can also update the device driver from the icon on the menu, uninstall the device, or disable the device. Inspecting the properties of a device, you can right-click on an item and select Properties. And here, you have General, Driver, Details, Events, and Resource tabs available to you on this graphics driver. Other drivers have different tabs. For example, if we open up Network Adapters and right-click on this Netgear device, you can see that it also includes Power Management, as well as Advanced. In the Driver tab, you can view the driver details. This will show all of the files associated with the driver for this item and give information about each of the files down here, the provider, the file version, the copyright, and the digital signer. In the main Driver tab, you can see the driver provider, the driver date, and the driver version, as well as the digital signer. You can click Update Driver, and there you will have two options. Search automatically for updated driver software, or browse my computer for driver software. Search automatically will search online for drivers. And in my case, it found a driver, so it's downloading the drivers. And it will install the driver that it found. And then it will display a success message, which you can then close. You can see the driver date on this 
has changed to April 1st, 2019, and the driver version has also changed. 